That's the news. Next from ITN, the ITV Evening News at 6.30. I'll be back at the same time tomorrow with the lunchtime news, 12.30. Till then, bye-bye. Electricity and telephone. Good afternoon. Bits of blue sky and patches of fair weather cloud here in London today. It's pretty much that way for many of us across England and Wales at least this afternoon. But you can see on the satellite picture up to the north and west, the cloud is much thicker. There's a weather front there and that is going to drift slowly south and east through the next 24 hours. But it's going to get weaker all the time with very little rain on it. Some rain though through the afternoon and evening, particularly for the northwestern parts of Britain. Elsewhere, a fair bit of cloud drifting around but sunny spells for us all from time to time this afternoon. And they're sending temperatures up towards the mid 20s so it's pretty warm for most. The wind's freshening just a little in the northwest. That weather front will move a little further south overnight so that by tomorrow it's a very weak patch of cloud in central parts elsewhere, mostly dry and bright. Power Gen. Gas, electricity and telephone. Prepare yourself for Survivor, the final week. Tonight at 9, 4 become 2. Try the spoken in sleep. And then on Wednesday, even if you've spent the last two months on a desert island, you can't afford to miss the £1 million final, where the winner will be chosen on live television by a jury of their allies and enemies. Be a part of it. Survivor, the final week starting tonight. Lucy Alexander rounds up the latest news in London today next. Then at 1.30, there's a shock in store for Phil in Crossroads. Prepare yourself for the ultimate pizza experience. The new Twisted Crust Pizza from Pizza Hut with a delicious detachable crust that's just made for twisting and dipping. Pizza Hut. Great pizzas, great times. Counselor, I urge you to continue. Urge. Urge. I've got the urge. She's got the urge to herbal. She ran the herbal in the shower. For another half an hour. She's got the urge. She's got the herbs to herbal. And for all the body you need, try new herbal essences, natural volume. When some horror blocks your plug holes and ordinary liquids only clean here, you need Mr. Muscle Foamer. Its special formula expands inside the pipe to help clear that horrible gunk that liquids leave behind. So pipes stay clear for longer. Mr. Muscle Foamer unblocks plug holes like never before. Until Sunday, it's double bonus week at Sharps. For your nearest showroom, call Britain's leading bedroom specialist on 0800 789 789. The number one long-lasting lipstick, Max Factors Lipfinity. No other lipstick lasts longer. Max Factors Lipfinity. And now there's Max Factors Lashfinity, mascara that lasts through almost anything. Lashfinity from Max Factor, the makeup of makeup artists. What could possibly be more civilized than a day out in London? happens with too many treats. At up to 98% fat free, new pedigree light and tasty means you can treat your dog and care for his health as you care for your own. Pedigree for health you can see every day of his life. Most parents install child car seats incorrectly. Where are we going wrong? 
The main things that parents do wrong when installing car seats are misrouting of the adult belt system, putting the wrong age child into a restraint and putting rear-facing infant carriers in the front seat when there's an airbag present. When buying a child restraint, you should consider the age of the child, the type of vehicle that you're going to put the child restraint in, or vehicles if you have more than one. When fitting a child restraint, check that the harness is at the right height. The slots that you put the harness through should always be at shoulder height. Always use the manufacturer's instructions and put pressure onto the restraint so that it's well bedded into the seat. When you put the child into the restraint, always make sure the pads on the chest are pulled down properly. You should only be able to put one or two fingers behind the harness of the child. You can reduce life-threatening injuries by about 75% by using a child restraint system. If you'd like more information about car seats, please go to our website at carlton.com forward slash city survival guide. Take 50 grams of flour, mm. Mm. a pinch of salt, mm. stir them all together, and what have you got? <laughs> Who wants to be a TV cook? That does look fantastic. Look at... Oh, oh disaster! It shouldn't happen to a TV cook. Tuesday at 9, ITV. Now on Carlton London today with Lucy Alexander. On London today, dealing with the drugs menace. Police get tough on the addicts who target the capital's commuters to fund their habits. Also ahead, a fight for justice. 16 years after a holiday tragedy, an Essex mother takes her long battle for compensation back to the Spanish authorities. Plus, the great canine cleanup. Dog owners are warned to bag it and bin it to keep our parks safe. And a great escape for mums on the run. The hotel that helps mothers find tranquility with their toddlers. Good afternoon and welcome to the programme. Addicts injecting on the underground and drug users targeting commuters to help fund their habit. This morning, police have been painting a depressing and frightening picture of a subculture operating in and around London's Victoria Line. Today, they launched a week-long operation to crack down on the drug users and their crime-related activities at Victoria Station. Well, our reporter Damon Green is at Victoria now. Damon. Well, uh, Lucy, as we speak, the first plainclothes patrols have gone on board the train between Victoria and Brixton. It's in response to a number and a growing number of complaints of drug use and drug dealing on the tubes and on the trains. It would seem that the drug dealers and users have found the trains a very convenient place to do their business. Well, the uh, police have had enough of this, uh, of, of these, these kind of sites, and uh, they decided to crack down with Operation Privet, a seven-day operation starting today. A few minutes ago, I spoke to the man in charge of that operation, and this is how he explained it to me. We're hoping to make a visible impact, so uniform patrols is the key here. People will be at Victoria and at Brixton at both tube and rail stations. They'll be travelling on both tube and rail uh, trains to make sure that we're seen, that they don't travel without paying their fare, that they're orderly here at the station and on the trains, uh, and that the passengers see that you know, we're there to, to assist them. And Damon, there is a much wider problem, isn't there, related to the whole drugs culture? Well, that's true. I mean, it's bad enough seeing people uh, dealing and...